Here's a tip. As per the Odyssey, it really isn't uncommon for people to stare at the Odyssey for a while, trying to get it to make a sound from scratch. Of course, the Odyssey has memories and patches, whereas the Odyssey didn't, so it's very easy to simply select a patch and use that as a starting point. But if the world of presets isn't for you and you prefer to make up your own sounds, there's one thing you'll definitely need to know from the off, and that's where to select the oscillator waveforms and equally importantly, where to turn them up in volume. Now, the top tip is to head over to the mixer section. And here you'll see the color coded sliders that correspond to both oscillators one and two. And underneath these are the switches where you select your waveforms. Now the choice here is simple, sawtooth or square wave. If you choose sawtooth, the options are fairly minimal. However, if you choose the square wave, you can modulate this and select the pulse width. You do this back in the oscillator section. So while on the surface it may seem that the Odyssey and the Oddity only offers two waveforms, with the pulse width settings for the square wave it offers a lot more. In fact, by the time you factor in the sine wave, which can be created by filter resonance and keyboard tracking, you realise that this is an instrument with a lot of sonic potential, albeit wrapped up in an odd kind of way.